Hello everyone. Today we are going to do the noun gender, and uh, this is video number twelve. Okay. So as you know that living beings are either male or female. Okay. A noun that denotes a male is said to be masculine gender as you can see the examples boy men father dog lion so male so a noun that denotes a male is said to be masculine gender a noun that denotes a female is said to be of the feminine gender example girl woman mother bitch lioness now a noun that denotes either a male or a female is said to be of the common gender as you can see the example child so if i say child you will not be able to make out that whether it is a male or a female so it is said to be common gender friend friend can be male also friend can be female also so again friend is also common gender teacher teacher can be male also teacher can be female also in the same way baby and enemy next a noun that denotes a thing that is neither male nor female okay that is things without life the th it will denote a thing and the thing will neither be male nor female and that those things will be without life it is said to be of the neuter gender example chair chair is a non living thing okay and you cannot make out whether it is male or female so again chair will be neuter gender i told you that it will denote things without life ball table house and pen so we have done the noun gender the gender nouns are four types masculine gender it will denote male feminine gender it will denote female common gender it will denote neither male nor female neuter gender it will denote things that is neither male nor female and the things without life okay now i think in my last video that is video number 11 i gave you some exercises to solve today i will be discussing the answers of those exercises okay i gave this exercise exercise b so watch the video carefully and exercise b you have to do in copy okay listen properly there should be no confusion this is page number page number 9 and this is exercise b i want everyone to do exercise b in copy in video number 11 i have uh, explained you noun okay then i have also provided you notes okay after writing that you will do exercise b in copy page number 9 exercise b so let's discuss the answers complete the sentences with abstract nouns that are opposite in meaning to the underlined nouns so some words are underlined and you have to write the opposite of that word and that word should be abstract noun this was blank blank is the conquest of fear fear is underlined so what will be the opposite of fear courage and courage is abstract noun failure is a stepping stone to in this sentence failure is underlined opposite of failure success and success is abstract noun we must end war and work towards 
war is underlined so the opposite of war will be peace question number 4 we have some days of joy and some of sorrow because joy is underlined question number 5 This is the entrance to the theater, and that is the exit. Entrance is underlined. Question number six: the time of arrival and the time of. The answer will be departure. Are printed on the train tickets. Arrival is underlined. Opposite of arrival is departure. One minute his face showed. despair and another moment he was full of hope in this sentence hope is underlined and the answer is despair at the feet the lemonade stall made a loss but the sweet stall made a profit profit was underlined and opposite of profit will be loss so exercise b page number 9 this exercise you have to do in your notebook next exercise i think this one exercise a but exercise a no need of doing it in copy you can do this exercise in your book okay and this exercise is very easy but then also i will discuss at least one or two uh, answers of this exercise how much lemonade is there on the table you will do this exercise in book only answer there are two jars of lemonade on the table you can see in the picture there are two jars and you have to uh, choose the words from the help box okay next next is page number 10 how much flour does the farmer have the farmer has 3 sacks of flour how here see in your book it was written much this is wrong it should be how many soap do you use in a month i use 3 bars of soap in a month how much jam do you need for the picnic i need one jar of jam for the picnic rest you can do it yourself this exercise was very easy and this exercise you have to do in your book okay not in your copy thanks for watching